Oh, what a very happy Nigel Mansell. His second Grand Prix win. It's more than vindicated his decision to join Ferrari and to stay with them in 1990. A rather unhappy looking Ayrton Senna. He may know that this has cost him the World Championship of 1988, but Thierry Bootsen back on the podium again. Third place, a fine drive. <laughs> Okay. Nigel, please. Congratulations to all of you. Welcome to the studio. Uh, what was your dream when you knew that you start from 12th position? What would you have bet on? I always bet on that uh, we stand a chance, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be racing in Formula 1, but it was very, very difficult. Uh, I think for me, it was a fantastic race. The first time in my career, I'll say, it was an unbelievable race. Uh, very extraordinary, and uh, Ayrton had a little bit of bad luck with traffic, but uh, you know, it was super. Has it ever happened in Formula 1 racing that someone has won from 12th position? Uh, someone has, uh, John Watson, won from, I think, 22nd place at Long Beach many years ago. So it is possible, but uh, being as the cars were so close and they're so competitive, both Terry, myself and Ayrton had a lot of trouble with traffic, and uh, it was just a very good race. Uh, can you describe that uh, overtaking, uh, which is, as a matter of fact, it was not in an overtaking point. How did you see it from inside? Um, 
Well, basically, the, the driver in front of Ayrton, uh, I think, made a mistake in the corner, and Ayrton was going very quickly, and Ayrton almost hit the car, I think, in front, and he had no choice but to brake, and I was fortunately far, far enough behind, and I just managed to get out and miss both of them, but it was very close. Thank you very much. Ayrton, how did you see that point of the race from inside? Well, I think uh, <clears throat> uh, Johansson had some problem. He was really going slow, and I came up to him so fast, and I nearly hit him, like Nigel said, and I hardly could avoid hit him, and Nigel came, and I think just managed to avoid me and the other car, and got through. Would you blame Johansson for that? Oh, that it, it will not change things anyway, so yeah, well, do you just feel forget that? about it. Do you feel that if he's not there at that moment, then uh, would uh, Nigel be able to, would have been able maybe, to... Maybe he still would be able to win, but I think... Uh, the people that would gain from it, benefit from it, would be all the public because the race would be a lot ex more exciting until the end, I think. Maybe he would still win, maybe not, you don't know. What, what it matters is that he managed to make the overtake maneuver that moment and he won and he did a good race and he deserved the win. Uh, you, you never changed tyres, was it not too risky? I think it was, uh, it, was a, it was a big risk, but uh, being as I was in 12th place, I made a good start. I think I overtook four or five cars on the first lap, and a very good start. And then I was behind a four-car train uh, with Terry, uh, with Nanini, uh, Kathy, and uh, I forget who was in front of me. But I just had to sit and wait for 20 laps until everything settled down. And then uh, I just managed to push a bit harder, but in the first 20 laps, because I was just sitting, taking it easy, I, I looked after my tyre as well. Great job. Thierry, again, third place in Budapest. This is a lucky circuit for you. It looks like I was very lucky because I had a very bad start of the, of the race. I was behind Kefi, I could not overtake him at all, so I was losing a lot of time, and Nigel passed me and didn't disappear. So I decided then to change tyres, went out on new tyres, then the rest of the rest was much clearer for me, much quicker, but uh, I lost a lot of time in the beginning. What happened to Ricardo about race? He was uh, in front for a long time, but then we yes. have to stop, you don't know. I don't know what happened to him now. Are you happier with this circuit? With this, is it a bit slower? Is there a new overtaking point now, Nigel? I think the circuit is a very difficult one for overtaking, but I think as everybody has proved today, I think we've had one of the best races of the year. Um, I've come from 12th place, so we proved that we can overtake. But it's very hard, it's a very hard circuit, and uh, yeah, but it's a good one. Okay, the very last question, I guess, who will be the world champion this year? Can you say it after the ninth race? <laughs> Probably with a red over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to have a guess? <laughs> I let you know in uh, Australia. In Australia. Okay, Thierry? Same thing, same thing. Thank you very much. Congratulations. See you next year, gentlemen. Thank you.